The policy decision to create a collective rapid reaction force for Central Asia was made in May 2001 in Yerevan, a sort of trial balloon. Туда вошли батальоны, несколько батальонов Российской Федерации, Казахстана, Кыргызстана и Таджикистана. 11 батальонов. Я не думаю, что они бы серьезно повлияли на в целом на общую обстановку в случае если таких крупномасштабных событий, таких негативных. Only a few years later, a real combat effective core was formed. Many formalities had to be discussed and settled. June 14th, 2009. Moscow. During an extraordinary session of the CSTO Collective Security Council, the leaders of member states sign a very important document. The act to create a collective rapid reaction force to repel aggression, fight terrorism, global crime and drug trafficking, and provide accident damage control. This is a new milestone in the development of the CSTO and its security wing. The collective rapid reaction force consists of formations and units in constant combat readiness. It also has special forces at its disposal. Law enforcement agencies, interior troops, intelligence agencies and emergency prevention and control agencies. At any time, they must be ready to deploy in any area of CSTO responsibility. The manpower totals 20,000 of the best soldiers. The CSTO Council of Ministers now discusses the most important issues facing the collective security forces in this hall, which has history. Он был создан, когда была создана организация договора Варшавского договора. Если вот вы обратите пано, которое в центральной части зала, то здесь вот при реконструкции и сохранена эмблема Варшавского договора и дата стоит 1955 год. Colonel General Anatoly Sidorov has lived through the Afghan and Chechen wars. Today he is the chief of the CSTO Joint Staff, the agency responsible for the organization's power structure. It coordinates military cooperation issues between CSTO bodies and is represented by defense agencies from all six member states. Формирование, развертывание, применение группировок войск, которые имеются в организации, это одна из основных функций. Вторая функция, тоже не менее важная, это, конечно, всесторонняя подготовка тех формирований, которые входят в войска коллективной силы. The CSTO Collective Rapid Reaction Force's first military exercises took place in October 2009 at the Matibulak training ground in Kazakhstan. They remain the largest joint maneuvers since the Soviet Union was dissolved. In 2021, a total of seven joint exercises were held in different countries. For example, one called Indestructible Brotherhood was in Kazan and Rubej in the highlands of Kyrgyzstan. На осень этого года запланирована целая серия совместных учений нашей организации в Казахстане, Кыргызстане, в Таджикистане. Уверен, что эти мероприятия послужат повышению боеготовности и уровня координации военных структур наших государств и в целом миротворческого потенциала ОДКБ. Мы стараемся не упустить регионы коллективной безопасности, чтобы не было так в одном регионе каждый год, а в другом регионе нет в течение 10 лет. Мы стараемся оценить военно-политическую обстановку, которая сейчас и которая может сложиться в том регионе. Informal relationships are a vital part of these exercises. The soldiers with different armies learn to be one team. Мы все говорим на одном языке. Это я вам скажу, что ну, очень большое достижение для, по крайней мере, облегчения в вопросах управления войсками. A peacekeeping company with Belarus's 103rd Airborne Brigade has been taking part in the exercises for 10 years. Its commander, Igor Gil, kicks off the usual team training. On today's agenda are airborne landing exercises and follow-up ground training.
The peacekeeping company, along with the whole brigade, is a part of the CSTO's collective security forces. Only the best soldiers are selected, enlisted on contract. I the paratroopers in this company are the elite. Each soldier must pass several tests with very tough requirements. В эти этапы входит отбор тестовый, то есть это по предметам боевой подготовки, также прыжок с парашютом, марш бросок и стрельба со всего видов оружия. But combat, physical and tactical exercises are only part of these troopers' daily routine because peacekeepers are a special category of soldier. Все военнослужащие проходят курсы основ миротворческой деятельности около трех месяцев в военной академии. Там изучается психология, тактика миротворческих подразделений, международное гуманитарное право, иностранный язык и военная топография. In January, an independent peacekeeping company was assigned its first combat mission. It had to move quickly to Kazakhstan as part of the CSTO collective peacekeeping force to provide assistance in restoring constitutional order. In January, we were quickly gathered. We were on the Russian IL-76. We went there and we were there and we were there and we were there and we were there. Events in Kazakhstan were a serious test for every CSTO element from diplomatic to military, an unexpected test. We always have to deal with the most difficult scenarios, the most difficult scenarios. But we can't rest on it, and we have to be ready for that at any moment we can do something from the front of us, what is required, and even some unexpected answers or unexpected reactions. In early January 2022, malign factors from within and outside the country took advantage of discontent among Kazakhstan's population over rising gas prices. Peaceful protests became mass rioting with vandalism and attacks on government buildings. Police stations in Almaty and other cities were damaged. Even army units were attacked. The militants needed weapons. The local airport, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and National Security Committee buildings were seized and dozens of civilians died. It was a clear coup attempt. The big country's stability and its multi-million strong population were under threat. In accordance with the decision of the Council of Security of Kazakhstan, based on the external analysis of the security and special services, the situation was qualified as a threat to terrorism and an act of aggression. The situation in Kazakhstan has developed very strongly. And the growth of the growth of aggression has increased. The country had a risk to get into such a situation of unconstitutional and internal blood pressure. The country's president, Kasim Jamartakayev, delivers an address on national TV. It seems the situation was about to spiral out of control. The count went on for hours. President Takayev appealed to the heads of CSTO member states for help. Исходя из основных положений уставных документов ОДКБ, Казахстан обратился к главам государств-участников с просьбой ввести объединенный миротворческий контингент для оказания содействия в наведении конституционного порядка. Борт на месте, к работе готов. Как принял у меня прием? Peacekeeper deployment is a complicated process requiring numerous approvals. That's why some observers seriously doubted that it could work. У нас был телефонный разговор с президентом Российской Федерации Владимиром Владимировичем Путиным. После этого я созвонился со всеми лидерами. Правда была 
поздний час, и, но мы поговорили, обсудили. И э, вы знаете, что в ДКБ решения принимаются консенсусом. Когда я констатировал, что у нас есть консенс, консенсус, уже э, де юре был запущен процесс. How those January events ended is well known. It took less than a week to stop the riots and destruction. Миротворческий контингент ОДКБ прибыв в Казахстан не произвел ни одного выстрела. С самого начала была достигнута договоренность о том, что этот контингент будет выполнять функции обеспечения, то есть охрану стратегических объектов. On January the 13th, 2022, the CSTO peacekeeping operation in Kazakhstan was declared over. On January the 19th, its last representative, the peacekeeping forces commander, Colonel General Andrei Serdukov, left the country. То, как все без исключения страны ОДКБ отреагировали на это обращение, та скорость, с которой развертывание осуществилось, и та эффективность, которая была проявлена при оказании содействия в охране правительственных зданий, объектов критической инфраструктуры, конечно же, вызвали во всем мире, мне так кажется, повышенные интересы и признание. Даже если кто-то, сейчас наши западные коллеги, пытаются это скрывать. The CSTO itself summed up the results of the operation just a day after it ended. Все эти годы, в общем-то, проводя различные тренировки, различные учения с контингентом, с миротворческим контингентом, с контингентом, который входит в состав ТКБ, мы именно на это и рассчитывали, именно быстрота, точность. И эта быстрота, в общем-то, дала свой эффект. Использование миротворческих сил по просьбе казахстанского руководства стало первой такого рода операцией в период существования ОТКБ. Ее проведение позволило выявить сильные стороны практического взаимодействия наших военных структур и спецслужб и одновременно показало, над чем еще предстоит дополнительно поработать. October 2016. Yerevan. At a CSTO Collective Security Council session, the member state heads adopted another landmark document, the Collective Security Strategy for the period up to 2025. They also decided to establish the CSTO Crisis Response Center to provide communications during exercises and crisis situations. Proposals for the organization's statutory bodies are worked out and situations in and around the CSTO's area of responsibility are monitored. Collective security is not just about military operations and diplomatic talks. It covers a range of measures. When was decided to organize the organization, there were already very important institutions, the institute, the coordination committee, which was very important to do the fight against the illegal use of narcotics, terrorism, extremism, with illegal migration, 